With Elimination Chamber out of the way, the WrestleMania build is in full force on Monday Night Raw. Welcome to the Raw Review. Not going to say every idea they had tonight was the best idea. And not every idea went, I think, the way they planned. Maybe? I don't know. But let's talk about what happened on Raw. Let's just say if it was, then they weren't all the greatest plans. No! Uh, we did open up with Kurt calling out Triple H, getting Stephanie instead. Ronda announcing that she wanted to face Stephanie at WrestleMania. Triple H going, no, that's not going to happen. Kurt's like, you're right. It's going to be us versus you. And then they beat the shit out of the McMahon slash Helmsley slash Levesque authority. people. The authority. Those ones. Asuka defeated Nia Jax once again. And then Alexa had a very strange, comforting... Uh, conversation. An uncomfortably uncomfort promo. Yep. Uh, the Bar defeated The Revival, uh, crushing any hopes that The Revival had of going to WrestleMania. Mm. Uh, John Cena defeated Goldust after talking to AJ Styles from Raw. Hillbilly Jim's going to the Hall of Fame. That's hey. cool. Bailey defeated Mandy, Mandy Rose. Sasha saved her from a beatdown, and we're still having issues between Sasha and Bailey. Braun Strowman de- defeated Elias in a Symphony of Destruction match in which Corey Graves had 11 Megadeth puns. Bray Wyatt defeated Rhino, and then Matt Hardy announced the ultimate deletion at the Hardy compound. The Mizzies uh, were won by Seth and Finn, and so was a handicap match to which they won a triple threat match to face the Miz for the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. And then Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman talked about Brock Lesnar a lot. Yeah. Them's all the things that happened. That's all the things. So with that being all the things, what'd you like about Monday Night Raw? Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> Stuff and things. Yeah. Um, the Revival facing the Tag Team Champions, even yeah. though it was non-title. You had like almost all your boys in one They're match. Almost. So. Um... What else? The Hillbilly Jim getting uh, announced to be in the Hall of Fame. That is pretty cool. That's I, pretty cool. That the was one actually, thing, though, is I'm going to put it on a slash dislike uh-oh. to a portion. Just because they couldn't use the Don't Go Messing With a Country Boy song. Because I'm pretty sure they don't have the rights to that anymore. Why not? Who wrote it? I, I don't remember. But I just I just remember it's like they it's nowhere on the network. Oh yeah, it's it's it's, it's one of those nowhere things. on the network in any of the Godwin Rumble appearances. Hmm. It's not on the network for Hillbilly Jim's theme. Yeah, it's at a, WrestleMania three. It's one it's one of those things. It's why but he sang it. So, hmm. yeah. So whoever wrote it is being a dick. Yeah. Either that or just WWE decided that so many years later they just didn't need to keep renewing the contract for it. Like, we're never going to use this again. Hey, Hillbilly Jim's going to the Hall of Fame. Fuck. We should have kept that contract. Yeah. Uh, I really liked Nia versus Asuka that again. Was good. They had a great match at Elimination Chamber. This match was really good. And I liked the way the I liked their ending. The, the tenacity of Asuka versus just the, like... Her being able to withstand the power of Naya, but watching Naya go through everything she possibly could before being forced to give up. Yeah. This is this is what uh, NXT wanted from the Shayna Ember finish at Takeover, and these two did it way better. Um, and I like the fact that Naya got a little bit of a babyface pop afterwards when yeah. she got up and was making her way to the back. So well, for me, it was just it was extremely reminiscent of Naya versus Bailey in NXT, where Bailey cinched on that guillotine. Oh, the choke, guillotine, yeah. And Naya kept trying everything to get out. Bailey wouldn't let up, and eventually Naya had to tap out just to be like. Yeah, because because Naya found herself was, in that sitting it position. Was, it was more of a stalemate than an actual loss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the fact that that Nia fought her way through, and just like trying to break Oscar's grip, and then Oscar finding different ways to just wrench on it, turning it into the triangle, and it was just uh, back in the armbar. Yeah, it was a really good, uh, really good battle of wills between the two of them um, going into that. I wasn't too much of a fan of Alexa's support speech afterwards, but the match was great. No, man, I I, I felt like it was. Ironically enough, the fact that she like told Mickey James to leave afterwards 
like before she talked, yeah. did the thing, and then she went on a thing that just it, it immediately made me think of that Piggy James yeah. storyline. That's that's why that's why she made that's yeah. why she asked Mickey to leave because yeah. I don't want to I don't want to break Mickey's heart. I just want to break Naya's. Like watching Naya cry was really kudos to Naya. Yeah, no, I mean like, I mean. I can imagine that her being a bigger girl probably has, like, memories that she can draw for yeah. that. But, I mean, if those were just tears on command, great acting job. But, yeah, let's let's not let's not shame people anymore. Let's... No, this, this is just another way to get her ready to face Alexa at Mania when Asuka finally reveals that she's going to challenge Charlotte instead. That's true. Charlotte still doesn't have an opponent. Yeah, and Asuka still hasn't announced officially who she's going to challenge That's yet. true. Yeah, they ha- yeah they don't- they only do they only have uh, like three like four sure graphics for actually only two four sure graphics for WrestleMania. Um, uh, what'd you love? What'd you love about Raw? Elias's performance. Yeah, played piano, drums, and guitar. And for the love of God, if any of you know what song he was parodying about his song about Milwaukee, please post in the comments. Yeah, what tune was he? It's jamming out with. It's cause. bugging the shit out of both of us, but mostly Kevin Hawk. He's been listening to music since that spot on Raw. Yeah. And it's been a couple of hours now, and he still hasn't found a definite answer. Yeah, I loved that, and I loved the fact, and this is another love hate relationship with a segment, but I love the fact that Goldust got in John Cena's face. That. Uh, but. I wanted to love that segment, but man. The crowd sure didn't. The, cr- the crowd didn't care. And, like, we only got a very small portion of a match. Yeah. And half of it was super clunky. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it is the very first time John Cena and Goldust have ever wrestled. Uh, yeah. I, which, is, which isn't hard to believe because they're rarely ever in the same part of the card. Yeah. So. That's true. And Goldust was gone a lot through the heyday of John Cena. Oh, yeah. So no, the only person that Goldust fought during John Cena's heyday was Batista. Really? Yeah, I don't even remember that. Match. It was back when he was fat. Oh, okay. It was him. No, it was like him. Him and Vader were helping coach. I don't remember that at all. You don't remember that? Nope. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's like, the time. That's the time. Like, like you ever see the clip where Vader couldn't get up on the apron? Like he tried and he slipped off. Like in my head, I was like, okay, yeah, I could, I could potentially like imagine Goldust versus Batista. But then he threw Vader and Coach in there. I was like, yeah. what? When the no, fuck no, did that happen? Heel Coach face Batista. I think Coach might have been GM at the time. Meow. Uh, that memory is gone from my mind. <laughs> yeah, no. I was thinking it was like Goldust was fat and sluggish, and Vader was extra fat and slipped while he was trying to get up on the apron one time. Huh. Fell off the apron, landed on his ass. You you learn a new memory. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I loved the announcement of the Triple Threat Intercontinental Title yeah. match because the Intercontinental Title is my favorite title. Finn Balor is one of my current favorite guys, and I really enjoy both Seth Rollins and The Miz. This is already a front runner to be a show stealer for WrestleMania 34. Yeah, no, it absolutely has the all the. Things that it needs to be the best match on the card. Yeah. Because there are three guys who you know will be very well adept at a multi-person match. Yes. It's not like... We've seen both of them in multiple... Yeah. Multiple, you know, multiple men matches. Yeah. And it's, it's, just, it's the situation where you know no one's going to... Hinder the match. Yeah. Uh, everyone's got similar but different pieces that they're going to bring to put a really, really good puzzle together. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Um, Anything else you love, you love more than one thing? No. I, I also loved that Paul Heyman said bullshit. Hmm. Sorry, Paul, they didn't unban that one. You gotta go with fuck. That's the one that USA's allowing now. Nah, eh, that's true. Uh, not, to, of, not to think that the WWE would allow it, though. <laughs> Probably spe- not. Speaking of Paul Heyman's promo, I'm gonna go to my dislike. Okay. My dislike is Paul Heyman saying hot competitive fingers in reference to Brock Lesnar. <laughs> that, that is... You said some weird shit talking about Brock Lesnar, Paul. But hot competitive fingers might be at the top of that list. 
That was... You, you know, I forgot something to go on my love list. All right, you can go back. I, I forgot. There's I something... needed to say hot competitive fingers and get that out there. It, yeah, because I, I honestly, I don't have a big dislike at all on this Raw. Uh, I don't either. It's... It... <laughs> But I, there's just the one I could thing. rant on graphics, but I'm gonna it, choose not to. It was it's the thing that I loved, and then it got overshadowed by the p- fact that I couldn't figure out what Elias was, was playing. Oh, okay. Uh, Scarsguard was on TV. Yeah, the dilapidated boat. Yeah, and he's gold now. He's yeah. he's gold and he's shiny, but he's still dilapidated. Uh, yeah, no, I I'm I'm very very interested how they're gonna play this. I hope it doesn't look and feel exactly like the final deletion but the ultimate deletion i mean we we had oh, it absolutely was. we had like you know we had the wwe version when the new day were facing the wyatts yeah and we know that you know this is matt hardy's thing so i mean it it had and, and now especially with uh jeremy borash being under the wwe banner there's a very good chance that this could be exactly what it needs to be I hope he does. I hope Jeremy Borash, if they ever have Vanguard One, like do something for WWE, and then like Vanguard One has to like report to Matt Hardy. I hope it's Jeremy Borash's voice <laughs> with his TNA announcer voice. Yeah, and it'd just be like you know, like it, it, when it happens, you see like Bray Wyatt show up at the Hardy compound, and then like Vanguard One like swoops away and goes to Matt. And Matt, well, I think it's like Jeremy Borash's voice going like. Matt Hardy, the 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 enemy has entered the compound. Woken, Matt Hardy. Now I I I think Vanguard One actually had a voice in TNA, but it was like yeah, no. I think it needs to be Jeremy Borash just go around <laughs> with a little robo filter, <laughs> so he sounds like Gur from Invader Zim. <laughs> God. All right. Uh, all right, so, that, I'm gonna do that on my phone and see what that sounds like. Do you have Do you have a slight dislike at all? Or, uh, or, of course, Revival lost. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I that that was one of those decisions. I was like, okay, cool. Like, get you know, give the give the Revival a high profile win. I mean, he gave it to Apollo and Titus. Yeah. Who I mean, yeah, they've they've been on TV more, but they're not. I would say the Revival are more popular. Maybe that's just my opinion. But then. Like, where does the bar go from here? Uh, you know, there is the theory that the uh, ultimate deletion will happen sooner than WrestleMania, uh, leaving it open for Jeff Hardy's return to put mm. them against the bar. Uh, which, to be fair, we've seen a lot. Yeah, I don't. Uh, but on the other hand, we haven't seen the Woken Hardys versus the Bar yet. It's the same thing. Yeah, well, just different. Look, it's the same thing. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I it's mean, I'm, I'm excited for Jeff Hardy to come back, but I don't, I don't want him and Matt. What about Brother Nero? I'm always excited for Brother Nero to come back, but I. I just... All right. Well, any any parting thoughts from Monday Night Raw? Um, not particularly. Um. Now I want Goldust to have a match at WrestleMania, though. He will. It's called the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, I hope he's not relegated. Well, I mean, I know he's definitely relegated to just that. Uh, no, my big thing is, please, for the love of God, give Bailey and Sasha a one-on-one yeah. match at WrestleMania this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Uh, and Vader for Hall of Fame. All right. Well, with that being said... Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the links down below. So many links. You can check out all of our social media stuff. You can also check out our podcast. That's the link that says SoundCloud. And there's Reasonable Wrestling Fan. It's Reasonable with a W. Like Like wrestling. wrestling. Where you can find unboxing videos, punishment videos, and other videos that are based loosely around wrestling. I said it right. High five. Didn't even stutter. Thank you very much. Yeah, check out what we got over there. Let us know what types of videos you'd like to see over there or over here. Uh, I also do encourage you to go back and check out our indie news and how you can help out Lefisto. Yes, uh, absolutely. Very important information there. Check it out. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. And as always, fuck, fuck Modus. Modus. I said it. You said it? I said it. <laughs>